Once I retired two years ago, I went ahead and, oh, no, no, no. and finished I'm it, sorry, that which I had started four years ago. First of all, you being here is an honor to us. Chairs. It's an honor to us for being here. Thank you so much. It's our honor. We, uh, we appreciate you and the support you've been and the blessing you've been to us. Words cannot even begin to describe. Uh, many years ago, I kept being asked, when are you going to write a book? I say, my dad used to say, Lovas, Kirk Kriat Turun et Zahela Tijvan. son. What I agree. My son. What does that mean? My son, writing is easy, selling the book is hard. <laughs> so true. So I'm not even selling it, I'm giving it away free. <laughs> and uh, what I'd like to do is also introduce several other people here who had a very important part in this book. And one is Dr. Arthur Salibian. Ures yes. Arthur. He is the artist. He is the artist too. Original, original, original painting. I'm talking. Original painting. I want him to say a few words. It's about if you get closer to the person and the picture gets a different dimension and it's much larger than actually the book itself. So thank you for doing that, uh, Reverend Kasmuni. The other thing that you asked me to do is the art cover of the book. Of course, at that time, he never realized that he was taking a big risk. So I bought The forward is by Arthur. Forward. Oh. Let's so, see the color. Uh, I don't know if you know that previously the original title of the book, if I'm not mistaken, was Point and Counterpoint. Mm. And of course, when you read the book, you will realize that that's all what it is about. In other words, when there is a point, there's always a counterpoint that has to be respected, that has to be studied, mm. and maybe sometimes even uh, accepted, mm -hmm. given us. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. So thank you. If I may ask a question, would you be able to give us a, a small synopsis of the next year? Yes. I'm already working on it. Uh, thank you, Arthur has been a very special friend. It's by God's grace that we've come together. Years ago when I served in Garden Grove Presbyterian Church, a woman had a new re knee replaced. I was visiting her in the hospital. She said, I have the best doctor if you ever need one. <laughs> His name is Arthur Salibian, <laughs> plastic surgeon. And that's how we reestablished it. Wait for him. <laughs> and uh, he has the foreword in this book. And the person who wrote a review of the book after it was published is John Hanjian. Who is John? There's John there. I want to thank him for the review. Uh, I told him if it's not going to be a review, you can't come to the dinner here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> made it very positive. Thank you, John. And uh, uh, I uh, also want to thank Louisa. There she what? is, Louisa Jambazian. For what? Who, uh, who uh, is the official person who uh, is the editor of the Armenian Missionary Association monthly magazine. And she has arranged it so that the review of my book will be in, in the next edition of it. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. To see that. And I wow. Near East School of Theology. Yes. Yes. The only one she doesn't know from Near East is me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go there. I know them when I was young and cute, like the bad. <laughs> Chapter 8, if you see, this is how I was 30 years ago. So, Mira, so you're still cute. John. <laughs> Was at the <laughs> Let me say that this book has a lot of biography in it, mm -hmm. my life, my memoirs, but it is more than biography. I did not want to write a biography. It is a memoirs, which is a collection of significant events that held meaning for who I am, who I was becoming, and where I was headed in life. Uh, to me, life has been a great journey, an exciting journey. 
Uh, much of it is in here, the unknown we faced with faith, and God blessed us. The, uh, along with biography, there's history. There's a history of my growing up in the Second World War years when Cyprus, in Cyprus, when uh, the Germans were attacking the North Africa Corps, was heading toward Egypt, and uh, Greece was captured, Crete was captured, and we thought any day we would be captured. So a lot of my experiences as a youth happened in light of those events, and I have that too. Now, along with uh, history, uh, there is uh, theology. My theology is woven in the events. Uh, my theology uh, is always changing. I say anybody's theology is not changing, that means you've gone to see, so to speak. Uh, in the Reformation, in the Presbyterian Church, we have a saying, reformed and always reforming. I was always changing, like water flowing into a lake, always new water. So that I'm not the man I was 50 years ago. Tomorrow I will not be the man I am today. And that is there, how some of the changes. Then along with theology, there is uh, my, uh, if you read at the end, there's an appendix, which is uh, uh, reflections and convictions. My beliefs about who I am, my identity, my faith, the Bible, God, and the future. Very short three page, I like short writings. So there's theology there, and also philosophy of life. And uh, so all of this is there with a lot of my children, grandchildren, story about their life. I appreciate that, what they've met in my life. Let me just, if I may, I would like to read the preface, which is uh, one and a half pages, with the passing of the years. For this I thank God and countless people who have been God's channels to me. St. John says, in him, in Christ, was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Shine on, O light of God, shine on. January 1, 2017, Orange, California. Cut it yet? No. Okay. Before she cuts it,